G'day, bloody dickheads, vaping fucking bogan. Back once again for another Ridgy Didge review. How the fuck are you lot? Hope you're all doing top notch. Gonna have a look at a little mouth to lung RTA today. We're actually gonna have a look at two. The Berserker Mini MTL RTA from Vandy Vape and uh, the Moldovian, the crazy fucking uh, Russian Moldovian bloke, Alex Vapers MD. Uh, this is the Mini. And we're also gonna have a look at the full size version. So this one came out, I think, before, and now they've just released the mini version. They basically vape the same way, same deck. We'll, we'll show you the, the very slight differences. It's really just diameter um, that is going to be different. And yep, that is half a Bonza dickheads. Half a Bonza mech um, with a Dreamer switch. Yeah, they actually thread in there uh, accidentally, totally unplanned. But yeah, all you do is take your uh, 18350 battery. You will need to cut a silicon adapter in half and uh, bung your battery in there and she just screws on just enough threads, just enough to, uh, to thread on. Very good. But yeah, make sure you understand that your 18350 batteries do not have the same fucking amperage as their bigger batteries. So yeah, you're gonna be able to, you know, run this with an MTL, you know, something with 0.6 and above, but always make sure you check battery mooch for, um, you know, the ratings, the amp ratings on your 18350 batteries. I'm using an E-Fest in here, but they're not very good in terms of the performance. There are better 18350 batteries out there. Dream a switch on there and she fucking works. So I've got uh, a little alien uh, mouth to lung coil in here reading just under 0.7. Uh, so yeah, with an 18350 battery and a high resistance coil or, or a reasonably high resistance coil like 0.7, uh, you know, I'm only pulling about five or so fucking amps. So yeah, you can't go putting a 0.15 build on, uh, on your little fucking 18350. But if you're doing mouth to lung and you're using like a, a higher resistance closer to that uh, one ohm, well then yeah, you are uh, within the sort of safe limits of the amps and uh, yeah. Little fucking, little pocket rocket. How about that, dickheads? Huh? But I fucking digress. We're gonna get into all the ins and outs of this little uh, RTA. We'll do a little wicking tutorial uh, and show you the differences between the two, the mini and the full size. But before we do any of that, let's quickly talk a little bit of vape advocacy. Yep, always fucking banging on about it. At the moment here in Australia, I've been banging on about the South Australian government bringing in uh, very, very restrictive and uh, decimating regulations, throwing all the vape gear in with tobacco. We are pushing, uh, you know, Australia wide as a community to get the federal government to to bring in some, you know, positive regulations that obviously protect things that we want to protect like selling to, to uh, under 18s and uh, and that kind of thing but still allow us to have access to products so there is a, uh, a big fucking uh, thing happening at Australia wide I suppose vape day they're calling it Aussie vape day and we're looking to raise funds for Athra which is the Australian, basically, CASAR. Uh, they are an independent uh, board of uh, doctors that are obviously lobbying and pushing the government for positive regulations, but they don't take any funding from the vape industry, and that's what the Aussie Vape Day is all about. So I'll link down to a GoFundMe. Uh, please chip in whatever you fucking can for the Aussies. It's tax deductible, and all of that goes to help these doctors uh, fight for your right to vape. All right, so let's uh, do our fucking bit. Let's have a beer, as always, cunts. Got a strong French Canadian beer here. This one, the uh, the Anna. It is a uh, a triple du Nova Monde. <laughs> there you go. Uh, it's from uh, Micro Brasserie Vox Populi. I guess that's the Micro Brasserie Vox Populi. That's the that's the brewery. <laughs> uh, it's all in French though, so a triple belge holé de, de trans le favorite de notre brassure que adore ses aromes de agrumes, se texture cremese et sat fanel séché. I probably pronounced half of that wrong, but <laughs> that's what it fucking says on the back. <laughs> It's a strong one though. We're looking at 10 fucking percent, 75 percent IBU or a 75 IBU. Uh, brewed obviously over there in, uh, yeah, Canada, Montreal, Quebec. There you go. So uh, it's, I guess it's a, a triple du Nova. It's a strong, it's a triple, I think it's probably one of these sort of Belgian styles. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Go. 
go, dickheads. Got a dark orangey red in complexion. Fair bit of head there, but that's how we like it. Shout out to Alex from uh, Own Boys Drip City Juice Co. He sent me this beer along with some juice and he's a top cunt. Anyway, cheers. Oh, wow. That is nice and really well done. I cannot taste any of that 10%. It always, you know, when you get a strong beer, will you be able to taste the alcohol? Cannot taste any of that 10%. It's super, super smooth, really, really fruity, and there's definitely a lot of like golden sort of tropical flavors in there. Yeah, definitely got a, um, a Belgian kind of feel to it. Fruity, I get like sort of apricot, stone fruit, that kind of thing doesn't feel a 75 IBU, it doesn't feel heaps bitter, but there's definitely a tartness there. Yeah, that's nice, and warm sort of golden mo um, malts on the back there. That's a, that's a pretty nice little drop there, Alex. We'll pair it up with the juice dickheads. Being a mouth to lung tank, I am on some nicotine salt liquid. Uh, this one here is Cali Salts, which I think is an offshoot of uh, nasty juice. And this is the, uh, the Pine Dew, which is a, a pineapple, and like melon, you know, honeydew kind of flavor. I really like this juice. It is a, one of my sort of favorite Nick Salt mouth to lung liquids. Oh wow, yeah. That's really getting fruity. The, um, the tropical sort of pineapple and, and melon is making this beer a whole lot more fruity. Yeah, that's nice. I think the pineapple and the melon is just, yeah, really adding to this beer. Anyway, dickheads, what we're gonna do, get down the up and bloody close, of course. Get into the ins and outs, and then we'll talk pros, cons, prices, and everything fucking else. Okie fucking dokie, dickhead. So I won't show you the packaging. Mine came in. It was just sampled packaging. Yours will be different for the retail versions, but I believe this is what you will get inside. Obviously, I've got the mini 1.5 here. You've got a bag of spareies. So you've got spare O-rings. You've got some spare Phillips head screws, if you prefer that, over the flat heads they have pre-installed. Old blue screwdriver, and you get an alternative um, black Delrin uh, screw in insert for the uh, the drip tip. You've got the choice between the Ultim and then the black. You'll also get uh, a third drip tip option, I suppose. You've got this uh, long mouth to lung style, very narrow, um, sort of almost vase like or, or whatever. Um, good for the, uh, the MTL vaping. And uh, you'll get some little uh, Clapton's, little super fine MTL's, blah, blah, blah. And you also get this little metal tank section. So instead of using the glass, you can use this metal insert, which uh, gives you an extra half a mil of capacity. So it'll hold two mils in its uh, glass mode and then 2.5 with the metal section. Uh, so this is going to be good if you like to use stainless steel coils and you use replay mode uh, on, your, um, on your device or temp control if you're using that as well uh, because that way it'll stop uh, firing when your juice runs out. If you run this with regular coils, you're going to have to be you know, very onto when it starts to feel like it's drying out because you're not going to be able to see how much juice you've got in there. You, you might get yourself a dry hit. But anyway, I think it's neat they've included that. Certainly for uh, you know, replay use with the, the Evolve DNA chips, uh, this would be quite handy and uh, very, very durable. But anyway, what you get with the, uh, the full size, so this is the full size here, this is the mini, okay? There's main difference being that it's a 24 millimeter diameter on the, uh, the full size and a 22 millimeter diameter on the mini. The decks, the um, chimneys are all exactly the same size. Um, capacity wise, you go from, uh, as I said with this one here, two and 2.5 with the metal. And with the, uh, the, the, the full size, you're looking at uh, 2.5, with the glass and three millimeter, three mils of capacity with the metal insert you see here. Um, apart from that, height-wise, the mini is actually about 1.8 millimeters taller than the full size. So go figure. Um, it's narrower, but it's 1.8 millimeters taller. Um, so yeah, 24, 22, but the uh, the 24 is actually a little stockier. So let's run through the fucking tank. Um, as I said, you've got uh, two different diameter options, but uh, pretty much everything else is the same on it. So up the top here, you're going to have a 510 drip tip. 
You've got uh, no O-rings on the inside here, so your drip tip will need to have O-rings on there if it's going to be compatible. This one has the heat sink fins in there. I don't really like how this one feels on my lips. Um, and this one here is a little bit longer. Uh, one other thing that I did forget to mention is with the uh, the full size, not the um, the mini, the drip tip that it comes with is slightly different, the alternative one. You've got this one here with the mini, and this one here came with the uh, the full size Berserker 1.5. That, that's about the only difference. Unscrew the top to fill it. Pretty simple. You've got a couple of kidney holes there to dump your juice into. Nice little tray for any juice to collect in. And you've got a, a notch system. So you've got a little notch here and you've got a little cutout in the top cap right in here. And so that means you don't have to do a full, you know, twist, 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 twist to get it off. It's just a quarter turn and out she comes. So I do like that. Nice and simple. Moving our way down, you've got uh, the same airflow that they've done on previous Berserkers. So you've got that large hole there. So largest hole, you're looking at 1.8 millimeters. Then we can keep going and we drop down to a 1.6 millimeter. Next one's a 1.4. You can guess the next one being 1.2. And then the last one being just a tender one fucking millimeter hole. So very, very uh, good in terms of creating a high restriction um, for those that like true mouth-to-lung vapes, but still, you know, the option there of a 1.8 millimeter for a, a bit more of an airy draw. Down the bottom, you've got uh, the usual serial numbers, Berserker, designed by Alex Vapors MD, Vandy Vape. A nice hybrid safe. So as you know, I've been using mine on top of uh, my half Bonza um, to obviously run this on a hybrid mechanical tube mod. You will need to have uh, a nice protrusion of that gold from the, uh, the stainless steel threading. And as you can see, we've got that. So no dramas at all. So to get to the, uh, the deck, we just unscrew it. One thing they have changed from the original um, Berserker is the original had a, uh, a chimney that was separate. You could unscrew that, but they had it sort of fixed in there with this, um, you know, reverse threaded screw um, on this end here. They've done away with that and they've just gone with a full one piece chimney and top cap, um, which I think is kind of neat. You're not having to, to fuck around with anything. They don't have the two different um, length chimneys anymore. So it's just an all in one system. The deck... It's um, pretty much the same. They've done a few little changes, little tweaks here and there. Um, I've noticed that the juice channels are a little bit smaller from what it looks like. Uh, so I think maybe they've remedied that to, to, you know, maybe some people getting some leaking too much, um, you know, juice wicking there. So they've looks like they've shrunk them down just a fraction. They've also gone with a, an oval shaped hole rather than the sort of circular one they had um, for the airflow last time. So I guess it's to kind of, bridge across the coil a little bit more than just a, a hole straight underneath it. They've also gone to a flat head screw. So you've still got the choice of, of Phillips heads included in there if you want to uh, to use Phillips, but um, they've pre-installed flat heads. And um, yeah, same sort of snag system as before. You unscrew it and, um, you know, basically looping your uh, leg underneath that big screw there. You can go either side doesn't really matter, depends on which way your coil has been wrapped. And um, they have beefed up the, the top of this screw here. It's really nice and big and flat, so it does catch that wire nicely. You've got a little cutout here so that you can bend the leg of the wire around and snip it nice and close, because you don't want it to be sticking out here. It'll short out on the barrel. So um, yeah, I think the, uh, the screws are an improvement. I definitely found it easier to install my coils, easier to get them uh, underneath the, uh, the lip there and secure them and they didn't pop out. So yeah, it just feels like a, a, an easier to build deck and I managed to stab myself with the fucking screwdriver. Good fucking work there, Bogan. So uh, yeah, that is the deck, dickheads. Let's have a look at the, uh, the coils that I've been using or the coil. So one thing I do like about the tank design is you can actually get to your coils without having to empty your tank as long as your juice is, is below the, um, the lip there of the, uh, the chimney. Then you can just unscrew it, get to your uh, your coil pretty fucking easily, re-wick it, and then carry on. So this is the coil that I've been uh, using. This one comes to me from 3.6. Uh, 3.6 three, six coils. It's an N80 MTL Alien. Five wraps uh, on a 2.5 millimeter inner diameter. Mine came in at about 0.66 as a single coil. And uh, yeah, he's done a, a great little job of a little micro alien. Little micro alien in there. There you go, dickheads. 
Uh, you can fit a three millimeter coil in there, uh, maybe with a slightly thinner wire. It's quite a thick sort of wire, um, but even then you may be able to get a three millimeter in there, but 2.5 to, uh, to three or a two even, whatever you like. But uh, yeah, that's basically my fucking coil. And uh, maybe we'll chuck in a fresh wick. What do you reckon, dickheads? <laughs> Voila, we are fucking back together. So there she is, my little fucking micro setup with the half bonza and uh, dreamer switch. <laughs> Let's jump back up top dickheads. We'll talk some pros, cons, prices, and everything bloody else. So there you bloody go, dickheads. Bit of a squeeze at the Berserkers, the mini and the full size. And as you can see, there's really not a lot of difference between the two of them. There's really no difference to the way that they vape. Um, in terms of the deck size, they're exactly the same. Um, the chimney, all of it is exactly the same. It's really just a difference in diameter and very marginally that 1.8 millimeter is actually taller on the mini. I don't think that really has much of an impact on how they vape. As I said, same deck, same fucking, um, you know, posts and everything else, same size chimney, same size chamber, which is going to basically replicate, you know, the same vape. So pros and cons, what do we like, what do we not like about it? Well, I think the aesthetics on this one I do prefer. They have changed um, the sort of the way the top looks a little bit to the previous Berserker, uh, and I like it. You know, it's a little bit less of a sort of dome sort of look to it. Just a little bit, yeah, it's just nicer. I think it's a nice little change, but they've kind of kept the overall aesthetics on it pretty similar. I do like that little metal tank insert or, or uh, metal tank section. Uh, it's not really going to be all that functional unless you're using something like uh, replay mode with a, a DNA chip because you can't see your juice level. So, I mean, you can kind of get a feel for when your wick is starting to dry out. Uh, so it's probably a bit more forgiving with something like a mouth to lung. Uh, but, you know, you're kind of running a little bit of a risk there that you're going to get a dry hit if you're not using something like replay to protect you uh, from, from drying out that cotton too much. But I like the thought. It's something different. Certainly very durable. Um, you know, if you You've got uh, that metal tank on there, well, there's really not much chance of busting it. So it's nice that they've thought of something a little bit different. I like the post changes or the, the um, flat head changes there. I think that they just clasp the, uh, the leg of your coil a little bit easier and, um, you know, secure it there. And I also like that uh, they have, um, you know, done this, this the top cap, the, the twist thing. I think that's a nice little uh, change there. And the, uh, the, the oval shaped hole. I don't know whether it's really making a huge difference to the, to the flavor or anything else. I feel like maybe the flavor is just a little bit better off of this one, but not, not by much. Um, I think it's more about functionality and aesthetics, the, the 1.5 or the change, you know, upgrading things rather than really improving the vape. It's still just as fucking good as the first one. The first one I loved. Um, so flavor is definitely a big fucking pro with this. As I said, uh, when the Berserker first came out, I thought it was one of the best, if not at the time, the best budget MTL RTA on the market. And I think even a year later, uh, and the version 1.5, the flavor is as good, if not a little bit better. Uh, I think the functionality is a little bit better. So they've really, you know, just nailed it in terms of a budget MTL. I like the airflow. Uh, I was a fan of the first one's airflow. They've got no real difference in terms of uh, the, the size options you've got there for your airflow, but I do like it. You know, you can get a, 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 a sort of restricted lung hit, you know, like I've got it now, wide open. Or if you like that uh, much tighter drawer, you can close it right down and get that real true mouth to lung hit. So what they've done with the airflow, you know, exactly the same, but it is, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They did it, they did it great the first time. 
Uh, lots of different drip tip options. That's always a nice pro when they when they think about uh, you know people's choices. Uh, two different types. You've got the one point, uh, sorry, the uh, the 22 millimeter and the 24 millimeter. So I think it's great that they have done a mini and a full size version, particularly for those that want to put like the 22 millimeter on something narrower, 22 millimeter mods and that sort of thing. So giving people the uh, the choice there. Cons. What do I not like about it? Um, I think they should have included another glass section. Not everybody wants to use the, the metal tank section. And if you break the glass, then you're kind of up shit creek. You've only got the, the metal one there. So I think for the cost of a piece of glass, Fanny Vape, you should have included two glass sections and the metal section. I think that would have just been um, a no brainer in terms of keeping everybody fucking happy. Would have liked to have seen O-rings on the inside of the top of the tank where your drip tip goes in there, just because I've got quite a few custom drip tips that don't have O-rings that are press fit or pressure fit, and it would have been nice to have a little O-ring in there so that they would, you know, be secure. Um, you know, the way it is at the moment, really, you know, you can only use drip tips that have got, uh, you know, an O-ring um, in there, uh, in, in themselves. So that's a little thing, but it's a, you know, it's something that I think could have been improved on. But I don't really have a lot to complain about with this one, cunts, to be honest. Um, you know, they've improved things that I, I didn't quite like, the screws on the, on the original deck, they've made those better and they clamp properly. Um, and yeah, they've kept all the good stuff like the airflow, so I don't really have a lot to fucking whinge about. Maybe the mini version at only two mils of capacity is kind of low, um, but you know, it is the mini version, you know. <laughs> you can always go the 24 millimeter and get up to, you know, three and a half mils of capacity with the with the metal or the or three mils. So yeah, look, I mean capacity is not always gonna be big with an MTL type tank. So Price-wise tickets, what is it gonna fucking set you back? Well, these came directly from Vandy Vape for the purposes of review, and they're pretty new to the market. So the Mini is uh, up on a few sites in the United States. Uh, I know that MyV Pro had it listed for about $32. Uh, they also had the original listed, um, the 24 millimeter for about $26.99, I think it was. Vapor DNA also had it up. They had a cheaper price on the Mini, but they had a more expensive price on the original. So uh, there you go. You're looking at around about the $28 to $32 US for uh, for these two. Uh, in the UK, again, I couldn't really see a lot of people with the new Mini version, but the uh, the original full size, you were looking at around about uh, 25 pounds. So pretty fucking affordable. Here in Australia, same as the UK, the Mini hasn't seemed to have hit the shores yet, um, but you can pick up the original from Vaporize for 45 fucking Aussie bucks. So yeah, I'd expect the you know the, the Mini to be about the same, probably 45 when it hits the shores, and uh, similar price in the UK to what the original was. So you're probably looking at it again, 25, 30 pounds. So I don't think you're really gonna have uh, too much to fucking complain about. I think it was eSig1 in the UK that had it for 25 pounds, if you're wondering, and I'm sure they'll probably get the uh, the mini uh, again. So look, in terms of a budget MTL, this is definitely one of the best budget MTL tanks on the fucking market. Um, I'd put it up there with the Saver, which is you know still to this date probably one of my favourite MTL RTAs from last year. And this has got as good a flavour and um, you know just as nice looking and, and uh, aesthetically pleasing. So yeah, overall, dickheads, if you're looking for a cheap MTL RTA, one of these two fuckers would definitely not be a bad fucking choice. Um, there's plenty of them out on the market. As I said, the Saver is another one that I really like. Um, but yeah, in terms of uh, the Berserker, definitely in my top, uh, top sort of five of the cheap MTL RTAs. So dickheads, I reckon that about wraps it up. Fantastic flavor, easy to build, easy to wick. I've had zero leaking. Um, it doesn't dry heat or anything crazy like that. So with that being said, dickheads, I'll put the usual Instagram and Facebook links down in the description if you want to check out what I'm doing outside of the YouTube videos. If you want to support my channel, please do. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button. They're both fucking free. Make sure you turn on that little bell icon down there so you do get notified when a video goes up. If you really want to keep me in a fucking gig, a Patreon page, I'll do prizes, giveaways. I've got some extra of these tanks I'll be giving away next month via Patreon. And all of that keeps me doing my thing. But if you can't, that's all good. Just sit back, sub home your fucking dicks off, or your tits off, or uh, mouth to lung, your little bits off. As long as you're not banging the fucking bungers, that is all that fucking matters. Cheers for tuning in. Cheery fucking oh. Hilda, ich komme nach Deutschland. Sehr gut, ja.